I don't I don't think he's a big deal. I think it's a simple case of sleepwalking and knowing they're better than the last couple of teams they've played, and it's just not a big deal. David Pollock, your thoughts? Well, okay. Here, here's what I'll say about that. I might agree that they didn't – I don't think they've taken their last couple opponents like they should, but I also think there's something to be said about that. That means there's a lot of youth. Like, that means there's immaturity on the team. Like, when you look back at last year's team, I think one of the most important things or one of the things we we – looked at the biggest, we were like, dude, these are a bunch of grown-ups. Jordan Davis, you know, all these guys, they're going to stay in, Devontae Wyatt, they're going to stay in line. They're going to stay on task. They're going to stay focused. N'Kobe Dean, they're going to cover the small things that are very important to win. I think now you got a lot of youth. And what happens with youth? You wake up, some days you feel good, some days you don't. Some days you really want to play, and some days you don't. Some days you're really motivated. And so I, I don't think it speaks well um for the maturity of the team for for i think it, the offensive line got absolutely manhandled which is a big problem you need balance you've got to be able to run the football i think there's an issue at at left guard i think um you know they they got to find they've got a bunch of running backs going i think they need to find their best one or two maybe and stick with their best one or two uh, i thought stetson played okay but the defense gave up i think the defense gave up like 200 yards on six plays something like that. And the rest of the game, they gave up, you know, a small number of yards per play. But I think it has something to do to, with focus for sure, Reese. But I also think this says something about your maturity level, about your leadership. And um, you better get that stuff figured out down the road because if you don't feel like playing all the time, you're going to get your hiney with it. So, you know, as we've sort of crafted the narrative of Georgia attempting to replicate Alabama's consistent dominance, and they have a long way to go. I want to be clear about that. But after that Oregon game, I, I among many people, were like, oh, okay, maybe they can just roll this out after, was it 17 draft picks, David? 17 NFL draft picks? 15? Yeah, 16 or 17. It was a record. Yeah, 16 or 17. It was a record. They had more players drafted than any team in the history of college football. So it's like, can you just roll this out again? And the thing that... I've always found the most fascinating about what Saban has done as Alabama is he's talked about fighting human nature. And I think we're seeing human nature creep into to, to Georgia. You look at Bullard's arrest a couple of weeks ago. You, th you look at like the classic symptoms of success, disinterest in games, struggles in road games that you should dominate on paper, um, and just youth, youth on the field, inconsistency that, that, that comes with it. So I really feel like that is one of the, that is, the, the talent is there. I don't think there's there's a huge, uh, you know, crisis of talent. There are some spots. There are some things that need to get better. Um, but I really feel like human nature is Georgia's biggest enemy right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.